Well, it's official. Deer season's over. And I got a buck tag that's not filled. That's okay though. Off to the next project. This is gonna say it all. That heats my house. Even though I have a pretty good wood pile going on here. I've been burning out of this. I got a full wood shed pretty much. I've got one, one stack I've been burning on when it rains. So there's a big old bulgy oak tree across the road here. I got permission to drop it. So this video is gonna be preparation for my big saw. Probably gonna sharpen the chain. And we're gonna go drop that thing. Here's all my wood I'm gonna cut up and split for this coming winter. So you gotta stay ready, cause you never know what the winter's gonna be like. Got my heater going in the garage here. Got my little steel 250. Got this big dog, the 391. We're gonna flip this bar back up. Yeah, we'll flip it back right side up. So, I gotta blow out that oil hole. I'm gonna go ahead and sharpen this bad boy. I'm gonna dress this wheel up a little bit. Take your chain in there. When you do it, most of them are 30 degrees. Move your little deal there to 30. And then you got your adjuster. You're gonna to wanna to bring that back. See, that's gonna cut in there nice. And you'll set this. What I found it works good. Put that thing right on 60. And that cuts in there pretty nice. What I didn't show you is that there is a depth stop. And that is right underneath the motor. It's a little red knob. You can set that so you don't have to squat down there and look every time to see how far you're grinding down into the tooth. But this is not an instructional video of how to use a chain grinder and just showing you what I'm doing to prep to cut this tree down now when you guys get one side done all you do is loosen that bottom knob up on your chain sharpener put that side on 30 degrees tighten it up yeah. what are you guys doing You do? Yep. I want to play with bows too. And I got some veins. Boo! The, you don't like veins, do you, Stink? Mm -mm. They don't fly as good as feathers, do they? Yeah. Now watch out, don't hit that new Subaru. Mom will come unglued on you. And don't forget to burn my bow up. Yeah, you guys just slide that to your stop. You tighten it up and just check it and check it and make sure and it looks like it's gonna work out and then you just take off stay back a little bit so we're all done grinding here you just take your chain out normally I'll use some saw files I got them right up in there but that chains ready to go 
don't know if you can see with this GoPro. Nice and shiny. Perfect angle cut in there. This chain's gonna rip. It's gonna rip my butt Now also, 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 there's your raker guide. You can get that on a flat surface. You can put it on the bar. I'm just gonna show you. You just set that on there. And that raker's right at the top of that. See it? If you gotta file them down, you can do it on that grinder or you take a flat file and just hit the tops of them off so you don't take too much. If you take too much, it's gonna get jumpy. It's gonna be crazy, Axe. Do I need crazy. Do I need glasses? Well, when we go cut down this big old tree, you will. I want those yellow ones. Put that chain up on there. This puppy's ready to go. And make sure you put it the right way. Next thing I'm going to do before I get ready to take down this big old tree, since I've been deer hunting like a madman, we're going to blow this air filter out. Make sure you use your two-stroke mix with some good quality oil. I see it's flat. It's flat. It's back. It's, 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 it's really flat. I know. That baby's ready. Don't forget to add your oil. It's cold, so it's nice and thick, ain't it, Axe? How could your butt crack be on fire? Because my butt crack touched everything hot and my butt crack is on fire and I pooped the fire out and I farted in my butt cheek. I need to go pee that. Open the door up and go out there and get out your Johnson and go pee. My short peckered friend, just go outside, okay? I snug them nuts up and back them off. Raise the front of your bar up. Hit your tensioner. Get it get a little bit tight. Tighten that front nut up and check it. I'll get a little bit tighter because as soon as you start it, it's gonna loosen up a little bit. That's about right, ain't it, buddy? Yep, and I got my new bow. <laughs> and, and tighten up your nuts. You need to tighten nuts. Tight these buds. So what are you doing Okay, I had my safety glasses on when I was grinding that chain. There we go. So we're going to take a few wedges and this with us. Okay. Throw them in there. We'll throw, throw another wrench in there. We're just going down to the end of the road. So it ain't like I'm going to be miles away. But it's good to just have you a good little box for your saw tools. You know what I'm saying? Let me show you what earplugs we're going to get. Let's go out here. We'll go into the race car trailer. where I put my carpenter stuff. There's all my work supplies. They're going to be getting put to use really soon. And there's the big, the big 67 drag car.
Thought I had some earplugs up in this mother. They're down in here. There we go. Earplugs. There's the big tree. It's dead. There's power lines on our side of it. You can see them up there. There's the road. Got the big dodge here. There they are. You know what sucks? Every time I get ready to do something, I'm all ear plugged up, ready to go. They're ready to watch a big tree fall. I gotta take a dump. <laughs> what? You guys think that's funny? All right, I'm gonna to try to power through it so I don't have to go up there. I just wanna get this tree on the ground and get it sectioned out, maybe 10 foot sections, and I'm gonna pull it across the road with my truck. <laughs> what do you guys know about that? This is a big tree, man. Now keep in mind I'm using a 20 inch bar and this tree is nearly four foot across the base at the bottom. So I'm having to double every cut that I make when I could do it with a bigger bar but I just didn't want to go buy one because I'm a cheapskate. So I make it work all the time with a 20 inch bar. So you guys just watch and see how it pans out. I'll use wedges, make a big notch and we're going to bring her down. some high speed notching going on right here. I know nobody wants to sit here and listen to the saw run for like five minutes while I cut out a huge notch, but you guys will get the point when you see the notch cut out in it if you've never done it before. Good oak. This big of a tree with my little 20 inch bar. It's just, I'm gonna have to clean that notch up a little bit. We should be good to drop it. So nice. go on the back side I'm gonna cut in on each side because I have a 20 inch bar cut into about right here then I'm gonna start the back cut in and when I get in probably 10 inches I'm gonna drive them wedges in in the back just in case you know you don't want it to go and wipe out the power lines I don't want to get smoked You guys plan your escape route too. Just in case something goes wrong.
one in about here. Now I might, might be able to get this to go with a wedge. There she goes. Here it crack. I really need my big steel wedge that I said I wouldn't need. Here we go. Look at my big wedge right there. My bar wouldn't reach the middle of this tree because the diameter was so big. So there was some wood holding it that was about the size of my wrist. So all I had to do was throw some wedges in there just enough to get it to go. There she goes. Check that out. That tree's almost as old as my shooting style. Might look like a gomer with my hat and glasses, but I feel freaking safe. I'm just gonna show you. Check that out. That tree's big. Big old dead oak. We got her. I'm gonna get all this wood. And it's gonna keep me warm next hunting season when I slock chubs. <laughs> 